This is the Wemi adapter. Uh, it's got both uh, SATA and the older IDE for hooking up older hard drives or other devices. And this is an old, probably about a 13-year-old Mac store uh, hard drive out of an old Windows 95, 98 computer. Uh, the only way that I can connect it is using this adapter. It's got a little notch on the top of it, so uh, and so does the IDE connector. So make sure that those two notches line up. Along with the data, you're also going to need the power. This is the power cable here, so that's kind of nifty that um, you connect it through the back of the adapter and then connect it to the four pin in the back of the hard drive. And now you've got power and you've got data transfer. Uh, remember to um, install the power cord. Well, it's really a transformer. And this is the USB cable into the back of the adapter. Uh, it's got a little switch in the back of it. When you see that blue light turn on, then the then the unit is powered up and uh, wait a few seconds um, uh, for the uh, system, the hard drive, to recognize the new device that's connected to it. So it's it's not a few seconds. It might might take up to almost a minute for the computer to recognize the device. Okay, so we've gone ahead, and what I did is I went ahead and uh, loaded up this AOMEI. It's a partition. It's a partition uh, program, and now look at interestingly, it mounts the drive. Not only does it mount it, but we can actually see the contents of it. So it's uh, that's a good thing. So we're going to, let's kind of confirm it, right click, we're going to be looking for 40 gigs. All right, so that's it. 27 plus. Okay, so this is the, the drive. Now let's see what happens when we turn on the other one. Hopefully <clears throat> it won't somehow bugger it up. So let's turn it on, we're turning on this one terabyte and that's the drive that we want to copy this drive. See, this is cool because you can see it's 38.29 gigs. All right, and it should give us a little message that says something new has popped up. All right, and it's showing us the contents. Let's see if we can see a little dialog. These are the two drive, two, two disks that I currently have in my system. We're looking for a third one. Okay, disk manager, let's say yes. Okay, so there we go. So now <clears throat> that's what we needed to do. It didn't work without this program. Because what we want to do is we want to copy this disk into this unallocated space. And I think we're going to have to go partition. We're going to select this. I don't think we can do that. I think what I do, if I go ahead and say copy this disk into here, it's going to, it's going to wipe everything out. But let's try it. Let's see, copy disk, and it's going to copy disk 4. Copy disk, next. Now it's going to say where. And... I don't think it's see that's the problem. It's not going to give us the option of going into this unallocated, but let's try it. Uh, all right, so actually we don't want to copy disk one. We want to copy disk four. Choose a target disk. So a target disk is going to be disk five. And yeah, see, uh, uh, okay, so if you do, do this, and it doesn't allow you to copy specifically into this partition and you say next it will copy it and it'll wipe out everything else out so you we can't use this option so we're going to cancel that we're going to we're going to go to and select this partition and now we're going to go to copy partition copy partition only please select an appropriate method we're going to copy partition all right, now, now we're going to go specifically to, let's move this over. Okay, we're going to go to disk 5. 
this four. Now we're into this five. And so we're going to go into this unallocated. And for whatever reason, it needs to be unallocated in order to copy. Now it's much larger. This is 588 gigs. And after we copy it, we're going to resize this partition. We're going to go ahead and click Next. Uh, and so this is cool. So it's already giving us a partition. It's saying that there is 28 gigs of information. Let's go ahead and make it larger. So it should be choose to copy this again. We'll have a little bit bigger uh, drive or, or bigger sector to copy it. We know that it's basically 40 gig and we're going to make this thing 44.25 and we're going to hit finish. So it is creating, going to create, and this is what it's going to look like. This is, this M is a copy of F. Now I hope it doesn't get confused that this is FAT32. Okay, and, it, and it's resize this partition. Okay, now here it is, copy F, which is this, to this 5, which is to here. Now we're going to apply it, and we're going to proceed. Okay, so it's given us one last choice, one last time. This program is ready to proceed. Please confirm the following operations. All right, let's confirm it. Source disk 4. That's the source destination disk 5 and it's going to say partition copy of F and it's going to F is going to go to M which is this new drive letter and we're going to collect connect proceed and I mean that seems most unusual implementation will take approximately 30 seconds that seems odd but are you sure you want to start yes Now, I want to think it's odd because that's awfully quick for 40 gigs. So, well, the truth is that we just have a small amount of data. And the reason this is rather important, this disk 4 is from an old legacy uh, Dell computer that's got uh, Windows um, 98 on it. And uh, I want to keep that. So... Okay, this is it. Okay, it's going to change it, and it, now it's going to come out to this. Okay, and we're let's see if we can properties use space. Oh boy, it seems like I would have. It doesn't seem like it used up a whole lot of space. Hmm. Okay, so like if I go to M, let's find this copy of F, M. Well, you know, that's what I've got. If we go to F, these are the files that we've got on F. So if we look here, this is the copy, Adobe and this. Adobe or not, you know what? That's that's all we've got. So we're we're just not, it's just not using up a whole lot of data on that drive. And the reason this is important again is I've got it on an old legacy Dell that I've got one piece of software that I use to operate a plotter, and and the it's 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 got a lot of it's been rigged around in order to to currently work. And so that's why I wanted a copy of this. So now I've got a copy of this piece of legacy software uh, onto here. And, and now I'm going to remount this thing back in the drive so that if it ever, you know, because it's what, 15, maybe 12, 15 years old, this uh, Mac Store hard drive, if it should go out, well, I've got a copy of it. And I can copy this on to a new hard drive and put it back in that legacy software because we did do something with with um, some of the settings in it that would be very difficult to reproduce so all right um, I would say again 
what we had to do in order to mount this disc, it did not work by trying to mount it with the Windows 10 software. We had to use this partition program, A-O-M-E-I, and once it was launched, it did not only did it recognize that a drive was connected to the computer, it actually allowed us to open up the contents of it and take a look inside. Uh, if you remember, we used Windows Disk Management, and it, it saw the drive, but it didn't mount it, and it did not give it a drive letter, and it did not allow us to, to do something on the, uh, to see what the contents of, of, of that uh, hard drive were. So, all right, so uh, that's kind of nifty. Um, let's, let's put this one back to sleep. Thanks for watching. So we've completed a copy and I like the way it sets this up. Um, copy of F, we know that the original drive, that the, the partition was F and it made a new drive letter M. So we know this is the one that we're wanting. And so this is the contents of what we just copied. It's not very big. If I right click it, it should be like 44 gigs because we made that partition 44.2 and use space is a very small 140 megabytes so that's contained the operating system and the program so this is an old windows 98 and i think it's great that i was able to uh, take an old hard drive that's about 12 13 years old and connect it to the adapter and stick it in windows 10 and have it show up and look at the contents and then on top of that go ahead and make a copy onto another hard drive and keep it away uh, for safekeeping because again Windows 95 it's a it's a real finicky it's a legacy piece of software I had to do a few custom things to make it work on on the computer that I've got it installed in it's installed in a uh, computer that should be working on XP Windows 98 is not supposed to be working on on a, on a computer that was designed for XP because of the motherboard so um, there were a couple other drivers I had to download that were custom if you will so any rate so that's pretty cool and so this is the disk that we're looking at we can see that we've got Adobe and and here's Windows the operating system and here's the contents of everything on 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 Windows so hopefully should everything or anything go down and crash we should be able to take this copy and copy it onto a new hard drive and stick it in that computer um, it's again this the existing uh, hard drive is about 12 years old and it's going to have a limited length of time that it's going to stay alive so now we've got a copy that we can uh, burn another hard disk drive and and stick it in that computer and keep it going all right. Thanks.